The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan. See, you have dire AIDS. You are now cured of dire AIDS. You still have AIDS, but it is no longer dire. Shall we play a game? Welcome to another episode of Metallica Fancast, where we're going to be talking about the new Metallica album. I think half wow, of us haven't even is, listened uh, to this it. This is news to me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you listened to it, Cameron? All oh, way? yeah. All the way through several oh, times. Dude, it's fucking repeat. awesome. You know, I was saving it because uh, my girlfriend bought it for me and she said it would be here yesterday. But then apparently the package is delayed, so I won't get it till Monday, did and she, I'll be gone. Did she get it through her Amazon thing? She did, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I bought it off of Amazon, and I got the auto rip, the MP3 auto rip. She did say I got so that. So it's too. on my phone. I guess I could just. So I'm listening to it on my phone on the way down. <laughs> it's fucking sweet. All right. I'll, I'll so, listen to uh, it on my trip. I just want to, since we're on the subject, I want to. Uh, oh, we're not supposed to be on the subject. I was <laughs> yeah, kidding <laughs> about the Metallica <laughs> fan cast, but let me tell you what I'm more excited for than anything is this Metallica album. I'm so happy. Just, like everything, everything bad that's happened in the last few months has been <laughs> worth uh, it up to this point. It's to wait been for reversed. <laughs> The Metallica album is so fucking good. Here, so read the review for this new Metallica album by Rolling Stone. I think it explains it really well. You read it. (laughs) Review. Metallica's hardware shreds back to vintage 80s terror. Sometimes. Sometimes it feels like it's like the best of every era of Metallica besides maybe Kill 'Em All. Nothing really sounds like Kill 'Em All. But there's a lot of stuff in there. It's all like the good parts of Load and Reload, the good parts of the Black Album. And like there's some stuff that sounds just as for Ollie. There's some stuff just that sounds. For Ollie. Yeah. It's a Ollie. Word. <laughs> uh, There's some stuff that sounds like Ride the Lightning almost, yeah. like kind of that era. But it's new Metallica. It's modern. James's voice sounds amazing. Oh, yeah. Like I was comparing it to when Slayer came out with their new album just last year. I'm like, his voice, you can tell, has had a beating. But this new Metallica album, it's awesome. I will way. argue that I think this this album is better than even Death Magnetic. I think it's way better than St. Anger, Logan, <laughs> or or Reload. And I think that it's like it's up there with with the good ones. I, I would be surprised if, if in a few months I, I don't feel that way. What's your uh, favorite song off this track? Oh, this the fucking Halo on Fire is That's amazing. A good one. Amazing. Yeah. This morning, I listened to it for the first time this morning because I was only, I only wanted to like listen to a few of their songs that came out when they were doing the music video every hour thing that they were doing the last couple days. They put out a music video for every single song on the That's album. Sweet. Yeah. Which and it's nuts. awesome. I've watched them all. <laughs> um, and, uh, but this morning I was listening that that first disc, dude. Those first six songs are awesome. They're, they're amazing. So fucking solid, dude. And it ended with with Halo on fire, and it was like, fuck. Oh, it was so good. And Caleb has not listened to it. No, nope. yeah, I haven't. Has it been graced <laughs> with a single note? Uh, I have. I've been graced with like four songs. It's like half the fucking <laughs> CD. This is Metallica. They only come out with six songs every ten years. <laughs> oh, they got um. I got the three disc version. You probably did too. Honestly. Yeah, I think she got me the sweet one. Yeah, not and, the Uber. Uh, There's like an Uber hog. Edition, the second but. disc is not as strong, but that's because the first disc is just so amazing. Yeah, I just like yeah. how they're doing this uh, A side B side thing though. With the two it sounds discs. like a pain in the ass. Well, they had a problem with load where they cut off the end of the last song because it was too long to fit on the disc. Um. Yeah, that was actually a thing that happened. It was like it's like <laughs> normally the the actual version of the song exists with the with the full ending, and it's like a fourteen minute long song. Wow, well, and like Pink um, Floyd. It be, that because of that like load, the actual album is like too big for the disc it's on. It huh. like completely maxes it maxes it out. So I'm guessing this is a way to 
not do that. Yeah, plus you don't want to be every song. You don't want to be a douche and have like a second disc with like one track. I'm on saying it. you it's don't like, want to be sorry. the douche who releases the album and then is like, oh, and you get the free download of the MP3 only song off of iTunes. And I'm like, fuck you. Oh, like Godsmack. With, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Like Godsmack with Whiskey Hangover and Avenged Sevenfold when they, they had one song that wasn't on. Um, but what is it? The greatest song of all time like whiskey hangover when i went to buy that i was so mad when they didn't have that song and i was like what do you mean it's not on here like i don't know it's a single I'm like where is this song and the guy hit up he's like i don't know <laughs> like i fucking have the, the sweet edition of the cd in my hand and you're telling me i can't get the fucking sweet song that i want fuck this yeah i still that, bought it but that's that's bullshit <laughs> if you're a band you should release your songs on your albums when they come out yeah yeah even if it's like a bonus third disc deluxe edition thing at least it does we'll exist pay. we'll fucking pay yeah make sure like the third disc comes with like extra content you can see if you put it in the computer that'd be cool and make sure it's like slayer's new one where the artwork is disgusting to joe so i can just keep showing it to him <laughs> you don't like that artwork look at him i thought like, it was oh, awesome God. all right so some people <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> don't Christ. Listen, maybe don't listen to Metallica and they're wrong. I'm just letting you guys know that you yeah. are wrong for not There's still time to, to change, though. Uh, they are the greatest band we're not, ever. Uh, we're not and, Jehovah's uh, Witnesses. We don't think there's only like a hundred and whatever thousand people that'll make it. You can make it. You can be a Metallica fan after the fact and still be saved. Yeah. <laughs> <First time. laughs> but <First time. laughs> we are, maybe we should change the show to Nude Clan. Yeah. Uh, I am original. Joe. <laughs> I'm Caleb Craig. This is Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. And today we're going to be talking about South Park, the stick of truth. Hell yeah. Woo! And um, before we get to that, what is... Sorry, what has everybody been playing? <laughs> um, <laughs> is that what you wanted me to do? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I've been playing uh, what is Deadly everybody Tower playing? Monsters. Uh, Witcher still? 3. Uh, still. Didn't you beat... Oh, it was him that Cam can beat that. that. Um, played Witcher 3, Skyrim, and, um, some Battlefield 1. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. Cameroon? I played around with Battlefield 1 just a little bit, um, but mostly I... Wait, did you beat Stick of Truth? I beat Stick of Truth. Oh, wow. That's uh, what I was playing this week, so yeah. That's it? Yep, put that in Battlefield 1 a little bit. Okay. I, uh, I got back on Final Fantasy twelve Revenant Wings. Um, I beat the... Okay, I've been level grinding in this dungeon, right? Restarting this mission over and over again to grind up to, like, super sick stats. And I went back, and I think I probably could have done the mission that I was stuck on about five levels ago, because I slaughtered it this time. I, like, fucking punked it, and went to the last one where I fight uh, Gilgamesh, and I fucking slammed him, too, so I'm, like, done. Except for the mm. final dungeon, uh, the one that I was level grinding. Can you let in. me beat the game with your guys? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they will beat the game. Okay. Uh, you just back away from the laser beam. That's all I'm going to say. You just have to out. be up there before the Bahamut guy gets summoned, and then right after the Bahamut guy gets summoned, you're fucking blasted up the ass. Oh, yeah. I know. I was there. And then you have to run away, and the Bahamut guy is still doing damage to yeah. you. I was like, oh, this is really easy. Fuck. And then it's like... <laughs> that it's like ah you got nuked yeah it, i'm wondering like a, <laughs> if there's a health bar percentage that i can know that i should just back up and let uh ifrit just do some damage uh well the problem is that bahamut being summoned it chases you i know well so have fun no before the bahamut like right before the bahamut is summoned like timing that so i get my character my main characters out of there and just send guys you might be able to do that, yeah. Yeah, I think I might have to do that. Um, I'm getting that railed. Yeah, it's it's tough. I don't think it's as bad as that one fight, but um, yeah, I played a little bit of that. I'm still trying 100% it. Um, I played Battlefield 1. I actually got the Platinum Trophy for Battlefield 1, so I have 10 Platinums now. That's uh feel pretty good about that. <laughs> it took him like an hour to do it. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, well, I... Played 44 hours online, so I don't know if I'd say one hour. Uh, that's, dude, I worked it out, and the game's only been out for a month, and I've played it for, like, almost... I've played it for over two days of that month. Oh. And that was a week and a half ago when I figured that out. So it's been... It was <laughs> in three weeks. I had given, like, two, two and a half days of the last three weeks playing Jeez. this. So that's a good chunk of time. But I finished that up. I actually started Call of Duty Classic um, because I have two more trophies in that to get the platinum. But it is painstaking. It is like ridiculously hard. 
Um, I'm playing it on veteran, and this is one of those games, one of those fuck face motherfucking bastard games that there's difficulty settings, trophies for difficulty, but it doesn't scale. So when I beat it on veteran, I have to go back through and beat it on hardened, which oh is my easier. God. Yeah. Fucking classic Call of Duty <laughs> wow. does that. That's why I haven't got the platinum. That's what I'm just... That's that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, so you're talking about Battlefield 1. No. I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying at all. No. <laughs> I just tuned you out, man. I'm sorry. Classic Call of Duty does that, uh, too. I, I, just, I, just, <laughs> I just heard, oh, you know what? I know, I know that uh, yeah, that's same that, feeling. Yeah. You know what my favorite Welcome words. back to Earth, Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay. One of my favorite lines is uh, f- from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is when they're all talking about how whether or not they, they saved him or not. He's like, but we saved you. We just established you didn't save us. Oh, I wasn't listening. Thinking about something else. Well, <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what this I, was. First off, well, we're talking about Marvel movies before we started this podcast because I don't really go see Marvel movies that often. Guardians of the Galaxy is the exception to everything. It that is movie my is favorite. fucking amazing, yeah. and you bet your ass I'll be at the what second. About, what about of Deadpool the though? So, oh, Deadpool. That's awesome. not a Marvel movie. That's a uh, Sony, or it's or is it Fox. Sony or Fox? Uh, who, who owns the um, X Men? It, it's Fox. Okay, so yeah. well, if Fox. you had like a long yeah. while yeah. ago, it's we, about a Marvel character, but oh, okay. it's not Marvel Studios. A long while ago, we talked great. about what, what our favorite movies were, and I, I was put on the spot, and I, 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 I said the first thing that came to I mind. I said, I am a legend. Zootopia, that wrong. and that was wrong, because my real favorite movie of, of all time is Guardians of the Galaxy, so just wanted uh, to, to set that up. Man, you're all time. When, when I always suspect someone when they're like, my all-time favorite movie came out last year. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. this is the movie I enjoyed the most <laughs> while watching. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I love that movie. Well, yeah. Cameron's only pulling from like Did a... Did you play anything else? Cameron's only pulling from like a 20 movie list, so... That's true. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> true. Uh, let me see. I... Fuck, I feel like I did. Oh, I tried to play God of War 3, but it's unplayable. Like for some mean? reason, it it, it 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 just doesn't work. Like the game is fucked. The uh the sound gets all fucked up, and then the game like starts freezing. And then there was one part where I needed to to go uh, jump down this ledge, and then like the game started going like all like I jumped down the ledge, and then Kratos like turned into this thing, or it was like and it was just his image printing across the screen over and over again, and then like started spiraling. And I was like, so it's oh my one god, of, like three things: either your disc is bad, your PS3 is starting to, break or I'm down. high. Or were you high? Or there's like an update that you haven't gotten. I was game. high, but oh, okay. But I, so yeah. I think that might be your problem. But I was just like, whoa! <laughs> He's just fucking ta- spinning into spinning into oblivion. Yeah. So I was like, I guess I don't. I won't. Tool play starts this playing game. in the background. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it, though. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait till Tool finally Bling. releases an album. I think every Bling. single one of my favorite bands has released an album in like the last two years. It's been fucking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> same for wait me. Five years yeah. for Tool. We got mm-hmm. Slayer, Megadeth. Uh, Tool's been Me- over ten. Well, Megadeth is one mainstay. How long, long has been since released since the last one though? Yeah, Megadeth at least releases regularly. Yeah, it's not that big. Metallica though is like once a decade. I'll have a really great time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then the rest of the time we'll just get shit yeah. on for hating on uh, Napster. And then Tool, Tool is uh, the same thing. The super long. That's just them recording though the whole time. Tool isn't take doesn't take that long though. Their first uh, album came their, out in like ninety three. Like, yeah, and they've had four albums. Um, now wow. there's let's see, Undertow. We got uh, Lateralis. We have Toe, Lateralis, Anima, and Ten Thousand Days. Oh my god. There is so that like, other one, but it's not really an album. It's no, like an EP. it's not. Well, what, what's, the, what's the other band? That, that, what's the other band? Is it like <laughs> what? the realization? <laughs> what's the other band that he's in? The uh, 23 years. Horn Circle one. What? A perfect Circle. <laughs> yeah, Perfect Circle. They're How a good often band. do they release? How often? They haven't for a while either. Okay. Now he's into Pussifer. No, it's not. <laughs> that band is not that great. Either. That's who he's promoting, though. He's touring with I Pussifer. Know. Pussifer's the thing with him. <laughs> That's what the name is. What? <laughs> How many times can you say it again? He's Pucifer. He's <laughs> Pucifer. He's with Pucifer. I right was now. never that big of a my uh, perfect circle uh, fan. I didn't like it that much. Oh, I, I, I liked it. that one song, the Judas song or whatever. That's a really good song. Um, no, it's for me. It's always been Tool, and it's like not just his voice, which is amazing, but the instrumental in Tool 
it's like it's far superior to like i can uh, just uh, be on the cusp of sleep of the other and bands. listening and just listen to Ten Thousand days on loop and just like <laughs> this like <laughs> yeah you know i hate tool sometimes though because of course they put out albums and they're like three songs per album yeah really. but then like it'll be like seven <laughs> minutes be of nine silence tracks, but three songs it'll be seven minutes of <laughs> silence and then it'll be some loud ass fucking shit happening so you're like ah, oh, i'll fall asleep <laughs> 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 I've had that. It's just like eyes wide open all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. Or like System of a Down does the same thing on Toxicity after Aerials. There's like this weird like... Oh, but that's after like 12 solid songs. At least they have songs. Yeah, it's after 12 solid songs. And like songs are like a minute this long. This yeah. is necessary. And it's like 10 minutes into the song. It just gets like really loud. I'm like, oh! I just wake up like... <laughs> I don't go to sleep to music. I can't. I pay attention to the music too much. Really? Yeah. I usually do, but then I have to stop listening to it when I notice I'm falling asleep. But last night I went to sleep to something else, or at least I wanted to be put to sleep to something else. And that was oh, yeah? my game that I played this week, or at least one of them, Armored Core for Answer, which I beat. And yeah. that's all I'll say about it for now. Hey. My favorite track to go to sleep to is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sick <hair. laughs> oh. God, this fucking game. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I played South Park Stick of Truth as well. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up, Caleb <laughs> Uh which I beat as well. And um, oh, shit, I'm not supposed to say that yet. Oh, fuck. Why not? Oh, and uh, FF12 well. Revenant Wings. I have been marathoning that fucking shit. And uh, I am stuck on the last boss as of this morning. So hopefully I will win that thing and be You sound like my grandma. That's what she used to ask me. Hey, did you win your game? (laughs) No. (laughs) You got a problem with that? Yeah, I do. A deep seated. It does sound strange. You don't. Yeah. I, I'm a winner. Have I, you, I, I, won I, I win game. it. You yeah, guys, I'd I rather be it. called a beater. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, of course, <laughs> so much are. rather be called a beater than a winner. But you are the <laughs> conqueror. Speaking of I, beaters, did anybody beat a game this week? <laughs> yeah, we just yeah, we Craig kind of established that. I beat the uh, Deadly Tower. Of Monsters. Go to hell! Oh my god, fat slob! What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? How does he have what? Oh, you just stop writing on my side. Uh, okay, I see what's <laughs> happening. He has another. I thought I thought page two was only for those who graduated to page two. It no. should be. I but. agree. I agree. But I, I was. Uh, okay, this is I was the only Joe. one there. I was confused. This is easy. He doesn't have to switch back and forth between. Papers. I don't have to switch back and forth between papers this way. So it has <laughs> the person's name. Let's Hard. explain this visually. It has all of our names at the top of the page. And then underneath it has the number of games beaten from the previous page, so I can add those to whatever game is listed below. Yeah, it. so next to Cameron's name, we just have a big N-A. <laughs> <laughs> so you beat Tedly, Deadly Tower yep. of Monsters. Anything Deadly else? Ter- nope, that's okay. it. That was a short game. Week, week for uh, Caleb Craig. Uh, I gotta take a break after a week where I beat four games. Uh, I guess you're probably right. Cool. Cameron? I beat uh, The Stick of Truth. Stick of Truth. Did nice. you already beat Deadly Tower? Did you count that? Yeah, yeah he, he beat, beat it last, last week. week. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, Caleb. What was the last thing I beat? Oh, fuck. I have not beaten anything this week. You didn't beat anything? No. <gasps> I'm kind of in between. You're games. kind of playing games that you were just playing recently, aren't you? So you've <laughs> been playing Battlefield, which you already beat, and you've been playing uh, Revenant Wings, which you already beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to master stuff, and uh, I will. I will have beaten Call of Duty Classic twice to get this platinum. I have to beat it two more times, which is annoying. But this year or what? No, it'll Ever. be it'll be no two more times like from now. I have to beat it and then start oh. it over again on the lower difficulty and then beat it again. Fun stuff. Yeah, well, I, I, I found do that it. game kind of hard, actually. Call of Duty Classic. Yeah. Oh, uh, there um, is a part where it gets really fucking ridiculous. On veteran, yes, it is the hardest Call of Duty game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> like okay. the fucking part where you like poke your gun out a little bit, and there's dudes sitting on a tank, and they just start blasting the shit out of you with the chain. You gun? guys remember what it's like to uh, to play against bots and Black Ops with uh, on veteran difficulty, and you could just see the kill cam that snap to you across the map. <laughs> that's this. 
and yeah. that's this <laughs> except you don't get to see the part where they snap to you it's just death as soon as you walk out anywhere. yeah it's like they're ready man they it's are like, I yeah, watched you gotta know where they are before shooting with perfect accuracy I turned around I yeah. turned around and watched Caleb playing this I was watching him play the classic and he uh, he spawns after you know dying and he, he like pokes his head around the corner and then from like across the way we're talking like maybe like 300 meters away this MG just opens up and the first bullet from that just snags him in the face just <laughs> do, 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 and he's has to start over again yeah, from the checkpoint. yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy <laughs> and it's like god dude the, these guys are like super soldiers how did they lose the war <laughs> This is the standard. I, mean, <laughs> I assume better in difficulty. War. Yeah. Well, what did you do? Yeah, if the Russians never got into the war, it would, all would be lost. Then Russia would probably. Are be you super playing Russian or what are you millions playing? Millions of people. Um, right now, I'm in the British campaign, and there's a. Uh, I did the U.S. campaign already, and there's the British one, and there's an Australian. Mean, not Australian. There's. All right, I think so the all Russian one is after Russian. Yeah. 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 The Australian. I, w- I was mixing it up with. Uh, Battlefield 1, I think. Mm. Wait, no. What no. am I thinking of? <laughs> I have no idea. There's yeah. some other war game where I played as a fucking Australian. No, it is Battlefield 1. You're the, the Aussie guy, the fucking the Oh, runner. yeah, there's, there was, yeah, but you're not in Australia, so that's where you got Well, no, you're confused. not in Australia. Yeah, you're, yeah, no yeah the, runner, the runner Australia. mission. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> that's not true. No one wants Australia. <laughs> uh, sorry, Australia. Japanese listening. wanted Australia. Well, uh, Japan wants everything. <laughs> Japanese uh, did uh, take over a little bit of Russia too along the coast. But yeah, I was mixing it up with that, so I'm on the British they missions. They still right now. are disputing some islands. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, we should just dun, let them work that dun, out. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Sounds like World War Three around the corner. They want their army back. Probably not about those islands, though. To be honest, <laughs> there's, there's nothing there. World War Three is fought over with um, islands, Japan, and. Russia I'm actually uh, in another Tom Clancy book, and uh, Japan getting uppity is the premise of this one. So, oh, nice. Okay, uh, <laughs> fucking uppity <laughs> Japanese people. Yeah. Uh, so I beat two games this week, as I already Whoa. said. Armored Core for answer, which was possibly the answer and possibly not the answer whatsoever. It depends on the question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I called it maybe armored core for bullshit is uh, well that is what we called game. it we've called it multiple times when it was winning the the election we said armored core for bullshit yeah well we were wrong about that yeah but when it comes to the actual game itself maybe who knows who knows um we will talk about that in two weeks <laughs> now stick of truth was another game that i either beat at the end uh, at the beginning of this week or at the end of last week and i can't remember if i was playing that this week but that's another game i beat and it's now on my list so our hog status is as as follows king hog from the hosts caleb craig once again supreme hog we should just put an apple in your mouth and put you on a plate yeah yeah you'd (laughs) like that wouldn't you make (laughs) it Joe's got some ideas I going on. I would love to take pictures. I would I would like that too. Yeah. <laughs> and then we can like blow up like a really artsy We photo. wouldn't be able to see Caleb for like a week. You with the we apple in your mouth and like <laughs> put it on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? Are, can Maybe you, it'll you, be our season two uh, artwork for Nude Clan. Would you? Would you consent to that? <laughs> would you like just to, like wear a loin cloth and get on this shiny oh, little plate? That would the be only ridiculous. person who consented to stripping was you for the logo. That's true. We were going to have a totally different logo. We were all going to be naked and holding like uh, joysticks <laughs> in front of our crotches. <laughs> I have such a funny story with that because, um, but it never. It, everybody chickened out. No, no, no. So Lame. the funny story with that Including is Caleb, Caleb was the only one. So it's going to turn out to Caleb holding the control in front of his uh his thing and then when it came came the day oh to take the God. picture kib's like hey cameron can you you know come be there with me and joe <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want to be alone with you naked That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> my thing was like before we were going to do it this is a true story guys i, I don't think we've ever told it over the air before have we no i don't think so Okay, my thing was before we were going to take naked pictures of each other with joysticks <laughs> in front of our crotch is that um I decided to look online and I was like, you know, you know, most of my, uh, all of us are chickening out on this except for Caleb Schweiss. And, um, and so I was like, well, maybe I can Photoshop it. So I Googled, uh, (laughs) naked man holding his hands in front of his crotch. And I didn't see that many naked pictures, which I saw a few, but, uh, I did see naked man holding 
like his hands in front of his crotch and i realized there's not enough hand (laughs) 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 and seeing that image was really uncomfortable yeah plus i mean <laughs> plus knowing, like, this is too much skin knowing me i would probably it walk sounds off. like an awesome idea but that is just too much to see now yeah, yeah. especially with your hairy eight body that I'm <laughs> sure we would see there. you know i would uh <laughs> knowing myself too and not wanting to feel uh like a less of a man i would probably go into the other room and like slap it about a bit <laughs> so that it, it's not that i want it to be semi-erect right but i want it to you be want some blood Flow. Yeah, I want some blood right. flow. I want it to get nice and thick. I was just about so to it would be enough hand. <laughs> I was just gonna say uh, it, it'd be funny to have all of us holding the joysticks. It's and then, cold in here, and then it's like ninety degrees. What the fuck? Are you talking so all, about? all yeah, of us are sitting there holding that. All of us are sitting there holding holding uh, the joystick, and then for me, there's just a little bit of a blur bar below the joystick. <laughs> 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 so you know we're almost to december or about midway through november if anybody wants to do any artwork for another season of nude clan that'd be yeah, great otherwise we, we're just going to keep our old logo we get a ton of artwork for ultima and i i keep forgetting to bring it up and like some one of the guys wants to do a calendar for us that sounds amazing but i i just keep forgetting to talk to him about it um it's the guy who did the ultimacia thing oh, oh nice our our upcoming logo for ultimate final fantasy once we get through the sequels yeah dude i'm so excited for that logo it's pretty amazing it's amazing fucking awesome um and then of course the b-side logo of just caleb craig as uh, ultimacia <laughs> also great uh but so yeah uh yeah well if you guys have any ideas uh feel free to pass along i mean we're not gonna pay you but if you want your artwork out there we'll yeah. promote you we'll so. take whichever even if even if we don't take it as our actual art, yeah, I, w- I use the artwork. We still use them for uh, a bunch of shit. Eventually, for like Patreon stuff, I'll use our our artwork that's been submitted. Um, I plan on doing that in the future as well for various things. Um, Maybe for we, Ultima, we don't have one yet for Nude Clan, but we would do that as well. We would just feature it, kind of yeah. a thing. Maybe what you guys can do is uh, put a book together, a little booklet of the artwork that you can sell on the store, like a we, nice laminated little book. I feel weird about selling it's their artwork. Our work. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, you had to credit it to them, so yeah. they gave it to you. Well, we we are coming up with the store thing, but we have to do our LLC dealio first. We yeah, that. we don't actually have an official LLC. Yeah, it's really just and Joe's so, a peasant, so we can put it on his taxes. <laughs> That's yeah, only going to last for so long. <laughs> One day he will be... What's the thing right <laughs> above that? Make at least $30,000 a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caleb's like, make man, that's so much. Uh, yeah. Dude, I heard p- teachers around here make like 28000 a year. And I'm like, that's not even that enough to ridiculous. fucking rent an apartment. No, it's Like, not. you cannot be a sole be- breadwinner on that, which is... You can, as long as you don't have a family. Very easily. Yeah, that's the problem. So you have to have, have a family, kids. but then you both have to work full time in order to... Mm. That's... Come on. Even that, like, for to have... Lippers what the goal scam. is, if you want to live a comfortable middle-class <laughs> life, your combined income needs to be around 100000 a year to uh, have a comfortable mid-class If life. you have, like, four kids, yeah. You could yeah. probably do it around here with 60000 uh, right. You could do way... I could do that. Dude, if I had two of me... I'd be, it'd be if awesome. I had fucking two of me, I could jerk I, myself off without yeah. actually jerking myself off. <laughs> You're like this guy, that's awesome. This guy's fucking sweet, man. I gotta would introduce that you to be Caleb. Considered masturbation. If I had two of me and yes. my, yeah, income, but then you would also be jerking another you off. Oh, that's true. That would be kind of gay. Huh? <laughs> Well, Shit. it'd be weird and Go back incestual. In time to I would just say no. I would be like, you can beat me off, but I'm not going to beat you off. Yeah, but he's you. But <laughs> So whose perspective are you looking at it from? <laughs> but I'm Which me. From him. his. He's, he's only me in... <laughs> In sight. I would be fucking just done. I'm, I'd be like, this is this is it. This is the life if I had two of me. Oh, my God. Fuck you. <laughs> Did you just show him your salary? If I had times two. Oh, okay. Well, all right, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be awesome, but... uh, Wait, where, where, where do we get this from? He was... He was talking... Sorry about that. The... He, <laughs> yeah, fucking... <laughs> but, mm-hmm. No, he was talking about how, how a teacher is it just fucking oh, terrible yeah. to live. It, it fucking around bad, here, yeah. 28000 a year. Fucking rent around here is like 1200 for yeah, a normal... For a nice, ni- like a place. townhome. Not like a normal... Pl- just a townhome place, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That's too much. Just buy a house. That's, so that's it's like, cheaper. oh, well, we'll have four guys who make twenty to $30,000, and we all have to split the house four ways. <laughs> Come <laughs> on, talking guys. About, talking about houses, In though, the, the, his place just a couple a couple uh, places down is for Feel sale. free to buy it, Cameron. I might, actually. Done. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> done, done. And then I slowly, I slowly <laughs> done, done, influence done, done. this area, and then I become master of HOA. So yeah, what we were talking about—that's <laughs> my way into <laughs> politics. Dude, you should have. <laughs> what we were talking about is uh, like we were joking. If we bought like the house right next to his, we could like put a door in between and just have like a super house. Yeah. But then it <laughs> might actually come to pass if I buy that house a couple of things down. We just have to buy all the houses. In yeah, between. we just have to wait until just like a massive <laughs> super house. Just make the next door neighbor life a living hell <laughs> until they move out as well and then split the cost or, of the or just house. ask him hey can we do a tunnel thing like yeah do you guys right? uh you know we, it doesn't have to be through your home we could do it underneath if yeah, you guys we could don't do it through the basement yeah the crawl space i could just knock out that wall dude, down there the and, fucking crawl space yeah dude <laughs> yeah. got my plants down there <laughs> <laughs> dude, kidding yeah kidding. Thought about you it, are but. kidding because i know what I know what weed smells oh, like. Oh, and it, it would smell awful it would because be, it's right below or right below where we are right now. It would now. be so. I I think we would all know if you were a if you were a weed smoker. <laughs> yeah. Schweiss, your house <laughs> smells very dank. It, I don't understand people who do smoke weed and think that they don't smell like weed. Yeah, it's like you can't burn <laughs> enough incense to get that shit gone. Dude. That little, that is, little, uh, I don't really care that you do, but it's like that little smell. It's not it's like just, you just, can just pretend that that doesn't that smell doesn't exist you, you're yeah. a little skunky right now you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. did you ass. run over a skunk on the way here <laughs> yeah yeah i just inhaled it's i had a, one kid and one of uh, a kid in high school the name anthony yeah he, uh, he goes i don't know why people don't like the smell of it. it smells so good it smells like candy oh my god I'm like, no oh no no <laughs> have you ever had candy <laughs> <laughs> are you talking like uh, I don't know edibles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those like edible underwear is probably what he's had. So now we're <laughs> Utah is now surrounded on on both sides by by recreational marijuana. Well, wow. Nevada has it. Oh, Colorado yeah. has it. Arizona actually said no to it. Um, but oh, Gary Johnson's part pissed. Uh, he's from New Mexico, but he's so close to Arizona. <laughs> and it was uh, wasn't so it a close? close <laughs> wasn't it a close thing? All he has to do is conquer. I the don't four know corners. how close it was. Hmm. Conquer the four corners. Yeah, that's that's his goal. <laughs> it's like, oh, they get a vote for whether or not they want weed. And what we had was like three uh, amendments to our state constitution about wording. Yeah. Ooh. Which is like, <laughs> we're uh, arguing semantics over here. Yeah. <laughs> Should we say fee or should we say tax? That oh, was one of them. And I was flash. like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I voted no because I'm like, fuck you guys. Yeah, it's like, this is really what you're the, meeting. The, the other one was. We're paying uh, you people to go into an office and say, you know what? Half of you say, I want it to be a tax. Half of you say, I want it to be a fee. And this is what you're providing me. <laughs> it's the same. God. <laughs> it's like subtle is for us, guys. But <laughs> this yeah. argument we have here. We, the can't, other one, we can't agree. The other one you remembered, it says in the oath for office, should we should we continue to say this state or should we say Utah? Or should. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I said no. I think I said yes to one of them. I can't remember which one. I honestly don't remember like what I thought would justify me saying yes to one of them, but the other two, I'm like, just keep the, the copy, thing. It the copy matter. paste state constitution, this state, you know, and just all yeah. in, 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 you know, ambiguous alliance. So it can go for anyone who, who wants to use fuck? it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So should we talk about what we actually came here to talk about? <laughs> we might as well. Let's talk about South Park, the stick of truth. Sauron, a great evil, has descended upon us. I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Tonight, we are no longer elves, goths, or girls. Tonight, we fight as one! Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick, buddies? You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. Oh, Jesus Christ. You sons of bitches! Ah, oh, shit, he's a wet! 
I feel like such a homo sapien right now. Ah! Oh, no! Ah. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. You want to throw down, bro? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Armies of justice! Uh -huh. Prepare! Ah! Ready! And... Let's beat up Clad! All right, South Park, the stick of truth. The stick of dick. <laughs> the dick of truth. Um, released in 2014, role-playing video game that was developed by Obsidian Entertainment in... Obsidian Ba at Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. At Obsidian. Is that where you Fuck, got your name, We forgot Caleb? to do our plugs. Go we ahead. did. Is, is that Thank you got, for hey, plugging Caleb, me. Is that where you got uh, your That's name from, the only Obsidian way Entertainment? You. No. Okay, well, we'll discuss your, the way how you got your name later. But Obsidian Entertainment, in uh, collaboration with South Park Digital Studios, it was released uh, and published by Ubisoft. No, don't forget that, because there's actually some background story to the game that we'll get into. Um, for PlayStation 3, Xbox, Xbox 360, and Microsoft Windows. And it is very much heavily based off of the South Park series, if you guys did. Oh, know. of course it's heavily based no off the way. South Park series. The idea behind it was to make it feel like an actual episode of South Park. It feels like three or four episodes. But it goes almost. so much yeah. deeper yeah, than like that. It's like ten hours. It goes so, so much deeper little more than three in or four. every way. Well, I'm talking about like just the cutscenes. <laughs> if you just looked at the cutscenes as <laughs> the episodes. but So uh, development began in 2009. It was supposed to be released in about 2013, uh, March 2013, but it got delayed until March 2014. Okay. Imagine having a full staff of people <laughs> and having to pay them that entire time. How I know. expensive is that game? Um, I hate of thinking that. about that. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Well, well, how do you think they operated during this development? Because they do like well, their episodes a like a few money. days before the episode airs, though. So, yeah. so this is this, so a little bit of that when uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone they approach Obsidian um, to do some of the artwork, the script, and then they wanted to, to make basically an episode of South Park the game. And the original publisher was THQ, but they went bankrupt. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> and it was purchased by Ubisoft in early 2013. So that had something to do with why it was kind of delayed. Mm. So THQ went bankrupt. Ubisoft came in and saved the day. Um, so the story on it um, is you are the new kid and you are new to the South Park town and your quest is to make friends. If you've ever seen the uh, the Game of Thrones trilogy, what, what is that called in South Park? The, it's the Black Friday trilogy. The Black Friday trilogy. It yeah. kind of takes a lot from that episode yeah. in particular with their uh, well, at the end dressing of those, up as wizards yeah. and role playing. At um, the end of that ep those uh, episodes, they're like, go buy the Stick of Truth game. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. That makes sense. Like, like well, right at the end of the yeah, last episode. Yeah. So you're the new kid. You come into this neighborhood. Uh -huh. You meet Cartman. Yep. And uh, who else? Do you meet Butters and Butters. stuff like that. So Butters is actually the first guy you meet, right? Oh, I yeah. think yeah, I think Butters so. Butters is the, the first, first guy one. you meet. You save him from getting attacked by a couple of kids in the neighborhood. Um, and you could decide your name. The nickname for your guy in the game is Douchebag, and you get a trophy for actually naming your guy Douchebag. <laughs> oh <laughs> I did fuck. That. Um, and uh, you, there's also other hidden trophies if you pick the Dew class, too. We'll get into yeah, that. Yeah, some goodies. <laughs> so, yeah, brief story. You meet Cartman, and it's basically it unfolds a story for you. Um, the Grand Wizard King Cartman and his kingdom of Koopa Keep are at war with the Druid Elves. <laughs> Uh, which is Kyle over the stick of truth, Stan, which is, but yeah, right? you find yeah. that out later. Kyle, that it's Stan Kyle, and, Kyle and, uh, and Stan. Jimmy. And Jimmy. Yeah. 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 Jimmy. <laughs> and they, the two factions is constantly bat battling over control of the stick of truth. And along the way, stick of truth gets stolen. You need to get it back. It's stolen again through random turns of events that, uh, there's also appearances by aliens and by the government and a giant taco bell. 
Uh, <laughs> and oh my god, oh, there's just so much Mr. in the slave. Game. There's so much. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Mr. Slave. Okay. <laughs> so throughout the game, I'm just the little say gnomes this. that take the underwear, underwear pants. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my oh, that whole god, fucking that scene section. as you're fighting on that. On my the parents were home during that. <laughs> I told <laughs> you there was. They did. I I had to like shut the door and I put the volume at one. And turn the <laughs> subtitles on. Oh man! So he's talking about the scene. Oh, you're fighting I was like, bed "Oh my god!" I was like, "Fuck!" If they come in dude, right now, I remember warning you about that. I didn't <laughs> no, tell you. What I thought was you were, dude. Swing. When you said that there was a scene that was like the most offensive thing ever, I honestly thought you were talking about the part where they were taken up into space by the aliens. No, and being no. anally plunged. Oh, with the dude. gay guys <laughs> like, Ooh. "Oh yes." Ah, uh, <laughs> the most offensive thing in this game, I think, is the giant Nazi zombie fetus. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's gotta be the one. So the biggest synopsis. abortion I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone, everyone's Chloe Kardashian was here earlier. Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> no, it's not all clear. The biggest abortion I've ever seen. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> Obviously, this game takes a few different turns. Okay, oh, yeah. so, uh, crazy. so brief, brief synopsis. See, the stick is lost. You have to go through a series of quests that lead into huge sidetrack things. Like we're talking, we're ridiculous sidetrack things yeah you get abducted along the by way aliens yeah you, you see so uh, you get abducted by aliens and you kill the alien ship they crash and they spill green goo everywhere the green goo happens to turn people into nazi zombies which is the we're in, we're in the joke we're in the arm cuff and, and it everything. is so overused <laughs> and then yeah. and then another quest you had to get you had to get the girls on your side and a part of that you had to go fucking visit the abortion clinic oh my god and in we're the abortion clinic the and in you, the abortion clinic i just <laughs> love this part in the abortion clinic where they're like do you hear that like they threw away the green goo the vials of green goo in the trash what could be possibly in the trash that the green goo could affect and they're like oh my god <laughs> and, and then, then like the door and the fucking nazi zombie fetuses come out of the door and start fucking things up yeah dude oh my god that was so funny that was like the best part of the game and <laughs> um okay so they have that my There's- favorite part of the game was the section where you go up, um, what's his name's ass, Mr. Mr. Slave. Okay, Mr. Slave's so ass. another oh part of the game, you God. can get you can get some like Ew, every time you like move, <laughs> <laughs> you turn on the fu- he has so much turn on the vibrator junk. that's inside his ass. Oh, like you have to like slice through the sperm that's in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, that that part made me a little sick. <laughs> I was dying, dude. Um, uh, and then you got to so fight the trophy. sparrow prince. Yeah. So in this game, in this game, you can get, you can find people to as summons, like the the city walk guy. You can find Jesus as a summon, and if you find him as awesome. the Jew class, it gives you a trophy. It says no no hard feelings or something like that as the oh, trophy. Yes. Nice. And then the, and then another summon is you can get Mister Slave as a summon, and there's a trophy to use that Mister Slave summon while inside Mister Slave. See, I didn't understand how to re uh, <laughs> to reuse my. To regenerate you have to mana. find them again. Oh, you can only do them like for the summons. Yeah, well, you can only use them once, once per day. day in the game, and you have to go talk to them again. To oh, get is the that token. what it is? Yeah, oh, motherfucker, I didn't get that one because I didn't know that. Yeah, you can also get Mr. <laughs> Hanky as a summon. Yeah, heck he's yeah. Uh, his shit storm is power pretty funny, is pretty yeah. fucking sweet. The uh, I like Jesus's personally, where he comes down and just like guns him down. His, uh, his attack <laughs> and is puts the sunglasses is it, His on? attack yeah. is uh, yeah. crossfire. <laughs> With a big old fucking machine gun. Um, but then the whole goal is to get still get back the stick of truth. That's always the main goal. Even though there's all this fucking alien shit going on, Nazi zombies, the goal is the stick. Each yeah. like, and, section is almost like its own South Park episode. Exactly. Yeah. And so in the end, both the humans, wizard, uh, human wizards and the druid elves, they, be, they join forces to defeat Clyde, who is banished, who stole the stick of truth and created his undead army. And so that's the, f- the final part of the game where you have to storm his, his huge tower. This is Taco Bell Green's and with his Taco Bell green sauce turning things into into zombies, and one of the final bosses is the cook. The, uh, he's oh, yeah. one of the final. <laughs> chef. The, the, yeah, the chef. He turns into a zombie, and who's fighting it the whole time as you're fighting him. Oh, hey, kids, I'm back. Children. <laughs> <laughs> they just looped his old lines. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, and then you have to fight the Did that guy actually died or which is yeah, yeah, okay, he died. Yeah. Okay. He that's... quit the show because they were making fun of Scientology, and then he died. 
<laughs> and then they had to. <laughs> they were. Uh, not, I'm not laughing at the death Not connected part. events. Okay. I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I'm going to have to watch, check that history <laughs> channel out and see. <laughs> okay. And, the, and so at the end of it, you have to actually end up fighting Princess Kenny, who stole the stick of truth in the end, and you have to fight that a that few times, and you're finally, then you're finally done. God. I never fight. lost. It goes without saying well, that. I didn't lose uh, either, but I it didn't took lose like 12 hours. It was long, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. you were doing it. What class did you choose? My thing was like, because he would get rid of a guy every time, but yeah, there were there some special thing that came some out. of the commands. Yeah, for like the mashing of the button, I was like, I was ready to press X, and then it was circle, and I was like, fuck, <laughs> but me, I didn't get it in time, so I had to go through the entire loop again. For me, oh, what was like the multiple point. times? There were like three different characters where it was like, fuck. Uh, yeah. For me, one of the sticking points was uh, sometimes the frame rate would drop right before they hit you, so you mm-hmm. mistime the fucking that parry. I'm telling, I got pro at the fucking. <laughs> I got pro at the, when it, near did, the end. When the frame rate didn't drop because he would do it randomly. The frame rate would drop on me. Yeah, um, I could get the parry down. I could get the perfect attacks down depending on how fast your attack was. But every now and then it's just like, oh, you want to parry? Frame rate drop. Yeah. So I think we all <laughs> we all love South Park here, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So we all enjoy South Park's uh, irreverent sense of humor and mm-hmm. possibly like its own. Well, what was probably the most funny about the game is that it was like self referential in not only that they were all just pretending all the kids were just playing right yeah. they weren't actually elves and shit yeah but also that you were playing a game like there were layers to this yeah, yeah. they were they were acknowledging to that it is jokes. a game it yeah it, so this game is a big joke it goes without <laughs> saying that um that this was heavily censored in some areas oh yeah uh, Are you in serious? some countries oh yeah some countries with oh, the come no- on guys light the fuck up so this is what happened with all the nazi fetus Im- imagery they actually had to replace that with uh with uh just like cards that explained in detail what happened in those scenes because in some countries in like germany or what? probably in germany they hate nazis they don't want anything nazi in their thing and so when it's playing oh yeah Hitler's speeches <laughs> as they're running around as a giant fetus zombies <laughs> that that hail hitler that part almost killed me dude i was dying when that big one came out i was like oh no way uh, and then you had to you had to you had to kill its umbilical cord before you could kill it because its umbilical cord would hit you and then, and then you would would yeah. Yeah. oh and then with butters his hammer oh dude when you would like hit him with the power hit and they would just splatter yeah. I'm over there like splattering a fetus. All right. <sighs> and so my my class I picked was the Jew <laughs> class, and they had some awesome powers. Circumcythe, which you would hop up over what? the enemy. Yeah. Circumcythe. You would, cut their their fucking foreskin off. You walk it over causes, to them like... It, it, it brings down their defense. It causes like, bleeding gosh. damage. And then there's the four plagues that you can summon. With yeah, the, yeah, yeah. With the you frogs. You can summon the four the plagues, gnats, the frogs, the, 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 the meteorites I and everything. You picked the Jew as well, Oh, Caleb? yeah. I picked the Jew, dude. Uh, the I, Jew was I awesome. started my game like a year ago. I just continued from like my first little part of the playthrough. <laughs> so I have no idea what class I picked. I just played. I, I picked the warrior i think what were some right. of your I abilities? Assume it was a warrior yeah what were some of your abilities uh i had the ability to like toss a baseball at them and yep. then beat the shit out of them with the bat which uh, added like bleeding damage the the circumcise dude is the i way. think the jew class is oh, the best class and, because there's just so many jokes just slang of david jiu jitsu like <laughs> jiu jitsu and the, the one that attacks is that you send out a dreidel that they'll uh, take down their shields and any other bonuses they have and so it's awesome before we talk about kind of like our whole thoughts about the whole thing you know for summing up what we thought of story yeah maybe some favorite moments uh we i i i personally the first time that i got seriously like i was dying about this game was when you were brought up to the alien spaceship and you like they were these machines right yeah and the machines were like these giant like jill dildo <laughs> looking things and they were you know they were probing you. That was yeah. the idea that the aliens were pro- probing you. And then there was the, I think it was Big Gay Al, right? Or yeah, it's Big Gay Al. It's Big Gay Al. And he's getting <laughs> probed by the thing. Oh. And he's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the pleasure and the... Uh, Oh man, that 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 was me. That made me laugh pretty hard, but it was only outdone by every other thing yeah. as, it, as it went along. 
Um, you mentioned, of course, the fetuses. Yeah, the, that the part... Nazi zombie fetuses. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would say my <laughs> the part I laughed at the most was dodging your father's sack when oh it's swinging God. down at you. Yeah, when you're fighting the uh, the shaman yeah, yeah. gnome dude. Yeah, he's like low bridge, and then it's like the slow mo thing. Your where father's this dude sack. <laughs> your just your dad's fucking sack. Balls. Yeah. So and yeah, you're fighting you're, underneath your mom's heaving heaving breast. Yeah, your dad's too. plowing your mother, and you're sitting there on this bed like fighting this gnome guy and then like you guys have to dodge your dad's balls <laughs> that's only the second video game i've ever played where i saw somebody's ball sack <laughs> the only and other you look every time i two. try yeah. this, this game in this game you can see two ball sacks you see actually three ball sacks you see oh you also see your dad's anus by the way oh time. yeah that's right i forgot about that <laughs> or uh, the 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 part uh, where you're you're supposed to pretend to give Randy an abortion so they don't kill you in the clinic and you suck oh, his yeah. balls up into the <laughs> yeah the vacuum uh, that part got me really really good too really turgid um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of the design the kind of the idea behind it so Parker he's a he's a fan of Obsidian Games he likes Fallout New Vegas and the original idea of it was to make kind of like a role play fantasy game like kind of Skyrim esque is the idea behind it with the uh, South Park animation added to it. And along with that is the music you hear in the background playing yeah. with Cartman's little voice. Yeah. Yeah. Zactus. I wanted to have a clip of that play real fast because it's just, oh man, it's epic and how, and how good that is. <laughs> but um, the Stone and Parker work closely with Obsidian on, on the project. Um, I mean, all their voices are them and then yeah. i assume that they did most of the writing right yeah they yeah so they designed it basically like they would an episode of south park and that's what they wanted to do go with the uh the art design on that too the same cutout animation over the background so the it was a 2d uh background uh style visuals uh, based on their cutout animation style so it's very unique to them um so <laughs> he's pulling that up for you guys real fast. So they kind of blended the 2D and 3D animation visuals of like Paper Mario kind of did the same thing with Paper Mario. Yeah, it was something in that realm. Yeah, and then and so the part of the part of the design in the game we have to go to land up north to translate the paper the girls give you that you find from the abortion facility. Oh my god! Whole, you I totally to to forgot about the Canada part. Yeah, you yeah. go up to Canada and it's all now eight bit. <laughs> I love that so much. And uh, all the ca- Canadians. And then there's only one road. Design. <laughs> and you're going across the I map. Oh, hey, did you guys? Did you guys get AIDS? Yeah, I got uh, yeah, dire AIDS. AIDS yeah, too. And so it if you fight, with if you fight, you. it's fucking bullshit. If you fight some of the uh, some some of the monsters uh, over there in Canada, dire. It's like uh, these are the dire wolves, just like wolves, but dire. You know, what dire, dire wolves, all right? Just like, just like, just like bears, but dire. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no, you've contracted dire AIDS. <laughs> I will heal you of this. <laughs> All right, you no longer have dire AIDS. You still have AIDS, though. <laughs> <laughs> Your AIDS, you still have AIDS, just not dire. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and then there Dude. was uh, there was a staff you could oh, get in fuck. one of the stores. It was like a dire staff. And its description was like, you know what a dire staff is, right? It's like a staff but dire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part was amazing. I, when I got up, into Canada. So, so when you go to Canada, you actually have to exchange your currency to Canadian dollars. <laughs> and actually, the my, my I weapon I bought that, there was in, <laughs> I, bought, I bought my end game weapon there the uh, Canadian halberd which is just a hockey stick <laughs> oh wow <laughs> and I bought that there and I actually went to the end of the game with that because that was the best uh, weapon nice. I had up to that point I really Weak. wanted to get the uh, the uh, katana from the oh I got the katana I really wanted I did that. everything did you guys get the Mongolian bow yeah I did but awesome. I got the yeah, Mongolian I used that up till the last part because of the burning effect. yeah but it by was the good. time I got the, that bow I already had a better ranged weapon so so what do we all think of the story, Cameron? I thought it was wonderful. It was like a it was like a South Park episode that got a little extra raunchy, <laughs> <laughs> uncensored. <laughs> this is uh oh, we don't have to be on TV. We can do what we really want to do. Yeah, let's have abortions and fetuses. It's fine, which they would totally abortions. do on TV anyway. But it was like maybe not show all it. that stuff. Was, they probably wouldn't show a man's anus. Oh, and then the yeah, symbol to get into Mr. Slave's ass. It was like you had to hit X and like the little starfish right next to the X. Just oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. Everything in this game was and then you get designed out, like, to make you laugh all the way up to like, you know, just the battle mechanics are ridiculous. Yeah. I, uh, 
Oh God, I just love. I, I love you want the, to go back the humor. In, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All the NPC talk was really great. Um, some of the side quest stuff that I didn't really do too many side quests because I needed to beat the game yeah. for this, and I wasn't really like messing around. But I started like the Al Gore thing with oh, man bear pig i finished that is it great it's pretty great i got okay. uh, i got uh jimmy his flute and everything yeah nice yeah <laughs> uh okay uh, caleb what did you think about the story i thought it was great i uh i thought it carried the game very well i thought it was a funny like just like you guys said a really long episode of south park and i there was never a moment where something funny wasn't happening i mean there's some problems I had with the gameplay and maybe that kind of took me out of it just momentarily. But as far as the story goes, I didn't have any problems really. It was, yeah. it was pretty fucking funny. Um, my word on the story is that I fucking loved it and I'm giving it 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, because it was, it was so funny. It was so raunchy. It was so over the top, but it was so like self. I don't know, man. It was just, it was, it was self-aware kind self-aware. of self-aware yeah it was good and yeah. i just uh, i just i loved it and i love south park if you don't like south park you will not like this game but i loved it personally if you listen to yeah. us you probably like so what's the uh, like i remember the first time i saw south park and that was south park the movie the one with satan and they have to you go saw to that first yeah that was Whoa. the first thing of south park and i remember watching that with my friend and his grandma walks in and uh she she uh took the video away and threw it away <laughs> that's my first experience with south park see i how big my fine is gonna be at blockbuster yeah i wasn't really that into south park for a long time um i don't think it was as funny back in the day and there were some things that they kind of overplayed like the kenny dying thing i kind of got old after a while but well they stopped kind of doing that they did yeah like four seasons now um, kenny's now kenny's just kind of gay the episode that got <laughs> me into south park like was the freaks one Oh, oh yeah and butters had the balls on his chin yeah, yeah. and the guy goes <laughs> it's not the balls on your chin that matter because it gets them ripped off and they were it's fake the balls was, in your it's heart the balls in your heart <laughs> oh it's testicles it was, it's not the testicles on your chin that matter it's the testicles in your heart and then he walks off i was dying for like 10 minutes <laughs> that was like the funniest thing i'd ever heard up to that point i think the, and uh, south park only gets better from there i think honestly. the world of warcraft was was when i really started world like, of warcraft one is still one of the best yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, okay this show is funny i will give it a chance yeah yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it kind of starts rough. If you start with South Park from season one, I mean, it's kind of like there's some really funny stuff, but then like a lot of just kind of filler stuff. But as the shows, this is rare as the show's gotten like uh, older. Yeah, it's, it's just it's gotten better. better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like newer these, seasons. These are recent made. seasons are just, yeah, they, they, fantastic. They just get better and better at writing. So everything. I heard um, one crazy. of their one of their episodes they had ready to go was if Hillary won the uh, the the. Uh, election yeah the, uh, and the then they had to they had to quickly scrap that episode and then make a new one oh well they got the obama win. one right yeah. last time so yeah. i'm sure they were they uh what it was called it was uh first gentleman is what the episode title was <laughs> the first gentleman yeah. from bill clinton <laughs> yeah and then they had to i don't know what they did though i haven't been i don't I watch think, research yeah, it's pretty good did they, did, they, they, did they make mr garrison win yeah yeah that's what yeah. i thought so. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious yeah. and they had mr garrison win that was pretty funny what did you think about the story of stick of truth caleb craig uh i love the story of stick of truth like everything that they do in that thing is super funny all the really big stuff like storming the school fighting like the the ginger um hall monitors <laughs> oh uh and then like hey, they're too red yeah <laughs> and it's like an infection that you can, like they gross you out if they touch you yeah yeah it's super funny um <laughs> uh going to canada dodging your father's balls like all that stuff oh like God. and even like the little stuff like at the at the end of the game where they're talking to clyde about like how he's like yeah i got the the taco bell green sauce and it's like turning these people into zombies and carmen's like oh well taco bell doesn't even have a green sauce you dip shit and then they're like yeah they do they had a, <laughs> they like introduced it like a couple months ago and they're just like having this like side conversation while this big shit is happening 
and it's oh man all that stuff is really funny and then like when the the big government guy uh like thinks that the stick of truth will let him control the world so he doesn't have to listen to the government anymore yeah and he like strips naked and just like starts waving the stick around and he doesn't seriously. understand <laughs> yeah he like takes it seriously and doesn't know how to work it and it's just really funny <laughs> And so I, I would uh, I would also give the story a 10 out of 10. What do you guys give it? Uh, 10 out of 10. I wish all video games were designed by people who are used to making stories. Like, you know, all every video game. I want it designed by a TV crew and to make it funny. Uh, I don't want not, every video yeah, game. Yeah, not every video game. Yeah, if, if every video game was like The Walking Dead, I would probably. Okay, yeah. Show. It depends on the show. It depends if whether or not the show is like, wow, clever show or not. sucks. <laughs> Depends on whether or not the show is actually clever, but uh, no, I was going overboard there. It was an awesome ten out of ten for me. Twice, um, yeah, I, I guess I'll give it a ten. I mean, I don't have any problems with it. Like, it doesn't seem like it's perfection, but then it does. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, it there's is. nothing like that's super wrong with the story at all. Yeah, no, just, just know that this game is very M. Yeah, it's M, M as fuck. <laughs> M as F. Honestly, with the sex scene in it, it should probably be A. To tell you I was surprised that it wasn't with the balls to, yeah, and shit. And, and the part where you're just... I guess like, you don't see penetration. No, no, no. And the part where you're focus. just uh, randomly going <laughs> going to houses and open doors, and one of them you just see a guy wearing the BDSM mask fucking a horse in his <laughs> living room. Yeah. I did not see yeah. that one. That's wow. just fucking yeah, if there. you open some random doors, there's like, uh, there's like a dude jacking off like with a blanket over him, and then there's like some chick that's just naked, and then there's like uh, yeah, a dude like banging a horse. That's <laughs> like, there's other stuff like that. It's super funny. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so gameplay. Now, personally, overall, I enjoy, obviously, RPGs. I mean, we have a Final Fantasy podcast that we've been doing for over two years. Um, we've played, like, fucking, I don't even know how many RPGs because of that show. <laughs> and Nude Clan, we played a bunch of RPGs. So I'm a pretty big fan of them. Turn-based combat doesn't bother me. I like it. I like the setup. I like how they're making fun of it in this game as well, where they're like, ah, is it my turn? Yeah. Like, no, you got to wait for him to go first. <laughs> Are we doing this? They win for me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like watching Cameron uh, play it. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, but the the gameplay in this, there were a few points where I was getting pretty frustrated. Like when it's trying to explain a new move to you, <coughs> they do a really bad job. Yeah, it's oh, a yeah, turn-based RPG, but yeah. it also is action-based. So when you do a movement, sometimes there's a timing thing involved with like the X button on a certain yeah, flash. Yeah. Or it can get even more complex than that um, if like you're doing your fart moves or something I like that. I rarely did those because it was such a pain in the ass. Yeah, mm. so... You know, it's like a turn-based RPG, but it's slightly more complicated and, and more real time. Yeah, it's got it's definitely got some action RPG elements in it, also. And I feel like some of the tutorials were were really like awful. Like when they were trying to show you the dragon shouts in the beginning, there were some of them I had to do like twenty times. Dude. Uh, I, was like, I had to go I online and see a guy hold the controller. In order to understand what the fuck, yeah, the there's tutorial one that I got stuck on for a little bit, but then you eventually get it. And the tutorials, though, are funny in the writing sense. They yeah. are, they are. But they with take Randy for showing you how to do these super powered farts, the sneaky sweeper. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, that was the only one that I really had a problem with was the Randy one because it was like well, the <laughs> it wanted you. Yeah, the, the the thing was telling you to like point the other way and then go the, the to yeah, the left it's or wrong. whatever. The but image you're just liar. supposed to hold the left the yeah, entire yeah. time. I was like, what in the fuck? The Nagasaki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fart in the great frequency. <laughs> um, but no, I loved getting uh, new abilities. I loved dressing my character up, making him look awesome. Uh, Cameron's <laughs> dude looked like Jesus. He was in his uh, Jew stuff, but I he had the goatee. The Kong jo- goatee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't have the Genghis Khan goatee. I had the evil Carmen goatee, which is like an actual full on goatee. Was it? An- it was an actual full on <laughs> it- um, goatee, yeah. <laughs> I had, a, I, had a, I had a signal at my face. I thought the uh, the moves were really cool. I used butters a ton, and the only other person yeah. I used um, in my party 
regularly was uh, Stan. Stan was actually way powerful. Stan was. Powerful. I always had Butters, but I was. So I would always switch back between Butters and Jimmy because Jimmy his his ability would be uh, Butters to, would take those hits. Yeah, Butters could take those hits. He could. He had the healing touch where he could heal you yeah. almost full health. But then Jimmy, he yeah. could. Uh, he could uh, get your PP back up. <laughs> your power points back up and it is pp in the game that's what they yeah, say they even have a joke about that in, yeah. the, in the start of the game he's like well what do you would you call it yeah that's what i thought you don't have a better explanation <laughs> or like whatever <laughs> i'm calling it pp so just <laughs> <laughs> because uh one of my favorite uh things to do would use the speed potion so i could attack twice so I, w- I would do my double ability to get all the status effects on them i want then i would have um, Jimmy come in and you know restore all of my power points so I could do it again next turn and that was kind of like one of my uh, strategies. Yeah, I, I thought the playing around with the extra characters was fun, but like I said, I mostly use Butters and then Stan and uh, Jimmy's like one of my favorite characters in the show, but yeah, not as useful to me in the game. Um, overall, though, I think the gameplay was fun. I liked the side quests. I felt compelled to do most all of them. In fact, the only one I couldn't really finish. One of the big ones was the Al Gore thing, because I was just not leveled up enough to fight those guys. They that were was, sick. That was a hard fight. Um, yeah. I was not ready, and then I beat the game, and then the game starts over, and I saved. So, like, <laughs> I have to play through it again if I'm going to get back to the Al Gore battle. So, um, I liked buying stuff. I liked... Uh, you know, finding the putting the probes down for Man Bear Pig, going down <laughs> to the sewers, finding Mister Hanky. Uh, it was the did gameplay. You, did you do the hunts for? Uh, I didn't do all Jimbo? of them. I tried. I did a bunch though. I, I did all of them. It was pretty good. Uh, there, there's some there's some great stuff in the gameplay, and I liked the interactive environments. I think that was a really strong point to this game. There was mm-hmm. there are chances. Uh, you know, you'll come across something where there's like an open flame next to a few enemies and you instead of you can either Battle get over them. to them and fight them or you can throw a fart at the flame and just expl- like blow the whole area up and knock them out yep. that way. So I thought that was really cool. And they had a lot of stuff like that in the game. And there were a bunch of spots where like I'd fight them and then I'd go and I'd look and I'd be like, ah, fuck, I could have done this move and like yeah. totally KO'd these guys without even doing anything. And you still get XP for it. Mm-hmm. So you're not like penalized for using the penalized uh, for the map. Yeah. So you just love, love making fun of that word, huh? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I thought it was someone good. says pianist <laughs> like pianist. for a piano player. <laughs> He's like, huh? <laughs> Gay. Got some embarrassing moments laughing at that in an inappropriate situation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Our pianist today is. The- <laughs> 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 oh yeah, um, I agree with most aspects of what Caleb said on the gameplay. What I like about this game and how it deals with kind of um, classic turn-based combat is that it it not only adds those action elements, which may or may not have worked depending on on how it was, but also yeah, those those on the map sort of reactionary things where. You could skip about half the battles by using the map to your advantage um, and still be able to gain experience, and it's an interactive thing with the world. I really yeah. like that. Uh, there are some technical glitches on the gameplay side of things, which is not going to give this a 10 out of 10, unfortunately. And yeah. What did you uh, run into? There were frame rate drops that I ran into. There were glitches that I ran into where like the battle wouldn't start for like five minutes and I'm just sitting there while the game decides that it's really? going to load eventually. Yeah, I got, I got uh, a glitch I didn't where, run into uh, any problems like that. Where I was trying to use one of my abilities and it'll, you know, usually you know, yeah. it does a thing to let you know when it's time, but that thing never happened and then i just hit myself in the face with the sling of day and sometimes, sometimes like the gameplay was you have to spin the you have to spin i the, know sometimes well, you the, fucked up no i didn't because i used that sling of david as my go-to weapon to usually start out fights i've used it i've used it i've used it and then all of a sudden in one section of the fucking game it stopped going gold when when it was time to shoot it and then i'll just see they're swinging it and just hit myself with it and then hit them with it of course but after that section it started acting normal again so it glitched on it there were uh, there were some places that I didn't really care for where we're we're doing these um, random battles and I say that in quote because they're not really random in the classic sense but um, when you go into the battle 
Uh, sometimes there's dudes that are just, they're rough and you're not really in a spot where it's like a boss or anything. They're just rough because they have some bullshit thing where they're like making you bleed or they're healing constantly yeah. or with the zombies. They always raise the zombie ups and you have, if you're not killing them fast enough, they'll, they'll do it twice. That's what you use your Oh, you can for. still hit the guys. I understand down. that there are ways to make this better, but the battles are long. And so if you're going through and you're like having trouble, you then have to just, you're having having trouble with a 20 minute fight it's not you know it's not final fantasy they're not quick <laughs> there's a lot of aspects to those battles so luckily there's less of them but i still think like there's some design things where i think they could have made it a, a smoother and, and funner experience in the battle itself um but otherwise i i enjoyed myself i i think if there's a detractor to the game it probably is the gameplay versus the story which is just so much fun to get through yeah i kind of agree there's some weird not stuff perfect. It, it works though yeah works. there's some weird stuff with the with the gameplay like sometimes the the timing for certain things would be off i noticed and the dodging um, mechanic was, yeah the dodging yeah. is crazy it took yeah. so long to get used to but near yeah. the end i got awesome at it but it's explanation of it it's weird symbols when it comes around to it it's like they could have done this more precisely. It, become, it becomes yeah. more of you just have to know and recognize your attacks and kind of know what it's yeah. time to yeah, yeah yeah the doing yeah. the parry was a lot harder than getting like a perfect attack and then yeah. even with the perfect attacks you can get even more points of on attacking if you do it nearly as, my, all my attacks are as perfect. It, <laughs> all near, so yeah they're all perfect but if you do it like the second it goes ding and you're already pressing it down because you've timed it then it gives you even extra amount of damage you I've gave me that. shit for penalize but you said parry instead of parry <laughs> yes did i really yes the only reason he made fun of pen- <laughs> he made fun of penalize is because his penis that's all he has on his mind that's yeah. the only reason he made fun of it he so care is it just this half of the table it's just got the the dong on the mind <laughs> okay, maybe, I, sitting I, next to, sitting I got next a couple dongs Joe. <laughs> oh <laughs> what the hell did you smack your face on that <laughs> no oh uh yeah no uh the <laughs> anyway cameron what do you think of the gameplay <laughs> well i wasn't finished oh sorry fuck. <laughs> yeah anyways you're done so um... no fuck you so yeah I, I i enjoyed the the gameplay a lot i enjoyed doing like the side quests um, there was the the side quest, the Al Gore one. I know you guys didn't finish that one, but uh, you end up like getting a shitload of messages from him. Like he wants you to respond or like his like stuff, and you can delete them. Like as they come in, like they're the only messages you can delete. And then you finally go talk to him, and then you unfriend him, and oh, then that's you hilarious. and then you fight him, and then he summons like the uh, like the secret service to like help him out in the fight and that was the hardest fight in the game oh is it really it was yeah. brutal dude i could yeah. not finish it, it like the only reason i was able to do it is because like i had weapons that were like able to bounce between like enemies and give them status effects um and that was really so that's the, the super fight in the game uh yeah you yeah. fight man bear pig afterwards but he was nowhere near as hard as just fighting al gore with the that's secret service I, I, guys i love that attack uh, the the uh, the do class gets the for apoc- the, the apocalypse attack because it gives you status bonuses on defense and attack and it lowers all of your enemies bone um, um attack and defense yeah and it, and it adds burning yeah plus the game's very generous when it comes to item consumption it doesn't take up a turn Oh my oh, god! Yeah. That was yeah. actually a really good aspect. Yeah, of I really yeah. enjoyed that. Like other turn-based systems need to do this. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's, they do. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much what I had Butters do. Like I'd have him do the healing thing for me, and then I'd have him give me like a coffee <laughs> so I can attack twice. Because like with the the katana, you get uh, if you're level fourteen, which I think fifteen is the highest level in the game. Um, with that katana, you do like twenty two hundred damage, wow. which is yeah, like seven hundred more than like anything else. Did you play this again recently for this? Yeah, I played it again. I be- it's on the list. I beat it. Okay. Yeah, and you so- can't heal and use an item in the same turn. Yeah, you can. No, he's saying Butters has the he ability uses to the use the item on one guy. Butters, as the second character, then Heals. uses the coffee on the other guy. Butters and has the ability him to heal, turn. and then he can use oh, the okay, item mind. I, I after two saying, different yeah. people yeah. are using the two different items. Yeah, but it gives one person an extra turn after Butters. Oh uh, yes, okay, that's yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. 
So I get you. I get yeah, you. and then uh, there was like I I enjoyed the badges idea. It was kind of like Materia in Final Fantasy VII, where you like attach it to the weapons yeah, you and add, armor add and stuff to give you armor bonuses. Gives you stats, so. I didn't know how to exploit that. I didn't well. do any of that. I, oh really? I didn't mess with they my weapon added forever. So much, dude! I got the fucking basketball. I put like a fucking uh, ability to like light people on fire with it and like gross them out. So I was doing oh, like two, great. two status effects, and if you do like a perfect attack with it, it bounces between like up to five enemies. I barely. So everyone was getting fucked with super damage. I barely. It was amazing. You know, yeah, it helps honestly. to do that. But yeah. even though the gameplay isn't that hard when you get down to it, it's lengthy. Yeah. Um, but it does make it go a little bit faster when you have that. Um, yeah. One and turn. Then, oh, so well, I was just. Gonna, I was just yeah. gonna finish with the like. <laughs> I got the katana that had, and it has like three attacks. If you do like the the light attack instead of doing the heavy one, and there was a badge where you could put on it to like add another attack. So it was doing like nine thousand damage to each guy. Yeah. It was like wrecking them. So, uh, what do you think? Gameplay. There was this one uh, match I was going against. I think it was zombies, or could have just been the kids. But um, I had a helmet on that would give me an extra turn if I killed an opponent. So what I did with my guy, I had him drink the coffee. Right? He gave gave him two turns, and in that two turns, I killed the dude, and it gave me a third turn, so I attacked him again. And then when it was Butter's turn, I made him drink a coffee too, made him do his chaos thing, and then do his heavy attack. I love the chaos. And so thing. that I skipped their turn five times in that thing, and I won just just like that. It was super fast. So, uh, what would you give it out of ten, guys? I would give it for me an. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. All right, and twice. Um, I'll say eight as well. I mean, it's not perfect. It's a lot of fun, and they did the turn base really well. There's just a few clunky mechanics when it comes to explaining how to do moves, and some of the moves themselves are overly complex. And the dodging thing is, you don't even look at the attack. Just look at the little thing, the light below your character, and watch that. Don't fuck with trying to actually parry. <laughs> yeah. It's just like the first demo to Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. Don't actually try to dodge. <laughs> try to dodge the way they say you need to dodge, and then you'll be fine. But uh, there's a few clunky few clunky elements like the abortions it's counterintuitive the abortion mini games holy fuck dude yeah that was rough and uh, the I one remember in, having to do that a couple times the one I in mr slave's one. ass when you're aborting the nuke that is that was a pain for me that was oh, i died I, after, there and got the game over with the with the just, credits it went straight <laughs> yeah. to the credits after i had <laughs> to like that. what <laughs> I was like, is that it? And then, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. It's I, funny. I, I, I was, was pretty hard. <laughs> I was like, wow, they just said, fuck it. This is where it ends. I got fucked on the Randy one a couple times, so I had to start that one over. Um, if you and once I got used to it, though, it, then it's just fine. Eh, Watching the, the little bar, though. Yeah, but the instructions yeah, they, are different than their fucking images that yeah, they put up. Yeah, the, it's That's garbage. So that was bullshit. fucking me over. Um, so for me, once I like, realized what I had to do, though, it was easy. the needle to be in the middle, and then you jab it in and then you yeah, hold but then the image is going like this come on this is what you do so all i did as no, if no, you're supposed so to wag it back no, no, and forth yeah and you don't it, yeah. no no you don't and so and then for the vacuum thing you hold it to the left until you suck up a nut you quickly let go of that you hold it to the right i didn't have as much problem nut, like, i just that. fucked and up then on you, the yeah. that one yeah it, there were a few frustrating moments but overall great yeah good I, execution on an rpg <laughs> yeah you, uh, i would uh i'm circling between like a seven and an eight but i think i'll go with an eight Reminds uh, me a lot of that Lord of the Rings game I wanted to fucking play. My yeah. uh, <laughs> yes. my rating for it is going to be a little bit lower, uh, mostly because of my eternal frustration with the fucking sneaky squeaker. Oh. I shouldn't have had, <laughs> had to go on fucking YouTube to have to look up how to do that. And then there are other aspects of the gameplay that are clunky. I say it's Good, sometimes great gameplay, but then sometimes terrible gameplay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a six out of wow. ten. Wow. Um, Salty old man. Um, the story's great, though, and it's totally worth any any little issue with the Any gameplay. aggravation, yeah. Yeah. What's our next section? We got design. Ooh, design. The look of the game. Mm. I think it looks just like a South Park game, and yeah, it's perfect, this, and it's, I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, same. There's, like, <laughs> nothing to complain about with the design. Yeah. I mean, if you they... Think, yeah. They follow everything with the uh, with South Park, um, and like they, they even show you the town. 
uh, which was cool because um, you don't really get like yeah a, that was awesome like yeah. oh this is what South Park is mapped out to be I yeah, didn't even the actual, know yeah. Yeah, yeah I will say though that they have on the same side of the street both odd and even housing numbers which is not real yeah you yeah. don't do that Perfect. there's even on one side and odd on the other side yeah. of the street so that part I was like hmm. <laughs> they must not have known that when they started the TV show. <laughs> and, uh, but it's, you know, that's, they must have never thing. delivered pizza. That, that's, driven a that's, taxi. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Um, yeah. Or, or had to find an address without Google maps. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I love the, uh, the switch from, uh, the normal South park to Canada, how it's just different. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was great. Yeah. I have to go to Winnipeg. <laughs> I, I was like, God, they should have done the whole game like this. <laughs> It would have been sweet, but Where it I looks like a the, classic uh, RPG. Yeah, I I enjoyed that it was that it looked like South Park and that you could explore the town. And then yeah, the the switch over to Canada just made it that much better. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. that's why. Like I I enjoyed that. And then the fact that they only had one road, like because they had that episode. Oh my god, like, Canada only, only has one road. road. Yeah. Follow the only road. <laughs> Follow the only road. <laughs> 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 Oh man, <laughs> we went the wrong way on the only road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a ten as well. I think everything about the design was spot on. The environment was interactive. There were a lot of uh, spots where you'd see like a chimp Pokemon hanging oh, up yeah. high, and you can shoot it, and it'll fall down. There's a lot of uh, everything was very in- every ability you awesome. get yeah. will help you unlock places you haven't been to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can go uh, blow a certain section of the wall up and get in, find a hidden item. Um, everything was just really you could, interactive. Uh, use your anal probe to uh, teleport places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was all well done, and I I echo the ten out of ten for the design of this game for sure. Yeah, I, the 10 out of 10, I think uh, part of it, that's a 10 out of 10 for me as well, is just the design switch from from South Park to Canada. I just really like that. It was really interesting. And uh, when you guys went to get your passport photo taken, did you take off all your clothes? Yes. Uh, yeah. You, did I, you not have you, to? You can press like, X. I didn't know if you could just decide not to and just sit there. I, and I, I did it both times I played the game. That you <laughs> just like undress. Well, I was, I was like, is it not going to let me not? I was kind of like, it was a heavy because rain if, situation. Because if you just, if you just let me just not do it, <laughs> you choose to sit there and not do it and just be silent like your character usually is, I wonder what would happen. I don't know. Hmm. Did you try to not take your clothes that off? That part Caleb? was... No. Right. Oh, really uncomfortable for a minute and then really hilarious after the <laughs> other guy like shows up it's god like, that was funny uh <laughs> god. all right uh is it sound and music yes it is all right so the sound in the game like i have one qualm with the actual in-game sound and that is on my television it would go from like this is music not sound but yeah i'll still play yeah all right so for my out of five for sound, I would say that um, sound is a three out of five, uh, mostly because on my television, when I was playing this game, there were loud moments and there were quiet moments, and I just don't think it was mixed properly in some parts. Whenever there was a crowd, uh, an interactive crowd in an open map, and mm-hmm. I would go around, the NPC's voices would be super fucking loud. And like distract, like my TV volume was very low because I live with my parents playing this game in my bedroom. Uh, and then suddenly like their voices would just be over the top loud. I don't know like what set, like mm-hmm. what part of the speaker that they mixed the sound to or what was happening with those parts. But it, uh, it like it, it was eternally frustrating because then I would have to turn it down in that part and then the cutscene would happen and I would have to turn it back up. See, that's weird because I played on the Steam version this time and I had no problems it with the sound. It could have been my version, but it was my experience and I'm going to go ahead and say three out of five for sound. Okay. For in-game sound. Voice acting and everything else, though, was, was great because it, yeah. it's them. It's Trey Parker and yeah. Matt Stone. But that was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what about what music? You, what, uh, music, however was amazing and five out of five uh there were some songs that i believe were written for this game jimmy's little minstrel tune oh yeah had me dying (laughs) 
Uh, and um, and then there were things in the soundtrack. Of course, you can hear you can hear Cartman saying. Sometimes there were like songs about what was going on, and it was like very quiet in the background. Like what was going on <laughs> in the game? There'd be a song about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite things about Dre Parker and Matt Stone is their like musicality. With all, oh, it's I like forget- suddenly I- South Park will turn into a musical every once in a while, and just the musical episodes and their songwriting ability, and including things like in the Book of Mormon just it it entertained me it entertains me to no end and it's just it's just another layer that makes you just laugh while you're playing this game because the music is just so fucking funny <laughs> yeah i really enjoyed the music as well like especially when they're making fun of like the the skyrim stuff and you got like carbon in the background doing like the sync to song <laughs> stuff it was like really awesome brown note yeah <laughs> Um. Oh, there was this one part where they started uh, playing this song. It was just so fucking awesome. I for, I can't. I wanted to remember it and talk about it because I was laughing so hard as they were playing the song. I'm gonna was, start listening to the soundtrack oh, on YouTube. I'm good. sure it's available somewhere. Um. It was like, and then the it was like the national anthem for Canada when you go to Canada, yeah, and stuff like that. Oh man, it's super great. Oh, oh, and randomly, as you're in one of the one of the clinics, I don't. I'm not sure if it was the. Uh, the abortion clinic, but one of the songs from uh, Team America was playing on the radio in the background. Yeah, they had a lot of classic stuff. Like yeah. they had a lot of stuff from their um, the Chef album and, and things and like the, that. The Let's Fighting Love song I heard in one of the oh, yeah, yeah. Let's I think it was the love, post yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fight to love. <laughs> <laughs> no. hey, hey, let's go kick us through. <laughs> <laughs> Protect my balls. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> the music in this game and in this series is amazing. Yeah. So you're going to give five out of five and three out of five? Uh, yeah. So my, my right. score for sound and music is going to be eight out of ten. Um, but the music is just amazing. The voice acting is, of course, amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dead um, on. Yeah. So. I love the fact that they like replayed Chef's like old uh, stuff. They yeah. just like looped it. Every the... time they have Chef on their show. Yeah. Like, every time he makes an appearance, it's always just old lines. Yeah. And looped. It's great. Fantastic. Um, I also re- just really enjoyed the music, uh, some of the side stuff that you can do, uh, like when, uh, I don't know, you guys didn't really explore too much, I guess, with the, like, there's part in the sewer that you can go to, um, or you find, like, a crab person, and he's just, like, playing a drum, and, like, as soon as you get near, it, you can hear him go, crab people crab people <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, uh, it was pretty funny like and you uh, you use the nagasaki to break the rock and then you can like friend him <laughs> it's <Awesome>. funny <laughs> um yeah I, I really enjoyed the voice acting it's uh those guys are amazing uh with doing all the little voices and stuff uh and i really enjoyed the music too i didn't have any of the audio problems that uh joe seemed to have um, on my computer, so I would give it a 10 out of 10. All right. Me, personally, my overall will be 9 out of 10 because I didn't notice any mixing issues. Um, they weren't readily apparent to me. It could just be the way my TV is... I, I didn't have to keep it super quiet. Um, my TV speakers point down and use a sound reflection to get the sound to you, so maybe by doing that, it sounded okay to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck I, I, is yeah. wrong with you? I like to bounce sound off first. I there like, was another game. The second hand sound. Is what was the last game that had like a fucking sound Rocksmith. issue with me? Oh, it was Rocksmith? Yeah, your TV's sucky. Yeah. There was something going no, on. No, that was it. the... That's the thing with Rocksmith and PS3 with HDMI and bigger PS3. TVs. So when you have the image go out to the HDMI, there's a delay in the sound. So that's just part of hdmi so the idea is in order to have sound synced perfectly on rocksmith you have to have the other port that goes straight to a sound bar from your ps3 or ps4 but i don't i don't have any problems with the yeah you have a smaller tv than i do do i now yeah I never had. Oh, yours is just that. plasma. Yeah, yours is huge. Yours all, is ass. Also, mine is plasma. Fuck you. I hate LCD screens, well, dude. <laughs> we're talking video games, not movies. I know. So, uh, I know. We're talking about video games, not movies. Video games. Yeah, LCD is better. I mean, I wonder if that's why the sound is so wrong for you. Because I don't have. I don't have that problem at all. Uh, it might be. I mean, it could. Uh, there's still something with the mixing where it just doesn't work with my TV, and that was. I think. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll give it a nine too. I don't. I don't think it's perfect necessarily. There are, uh, dude. The Nazi zombie thing is the only thing for me that was really loud, but I loved it, so I didn't care. 
Um, when they started shouting in German, it was just like crazy loud <laughs> compared to everything else. But I do wish I they kind of said some was... other stuff other than just like the replayed one or two speeches that they uh, used. I loved it. I, 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 thought, I loved uh, it too, but like no, I thought I, I wish there was more. Nazi zombies made me laugh every time I fight. I, I fought them. <laughs> so I'm walking around just the Sieg Heil. Yeah, and the, the like, fucking rats that get like yeah, the, the I love hat the hats, and the arm yeah. and then the cats too. <laughs> and then the gnomes, the gnomes get like the headpiece with the with the swastika on top. And <laughs> yeah, dude. it's not just that they're Nazi zombies in the game, but they make jokes about there being Nazi zombies yeah. in video games. Yeah, 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 which is just great. Nazi zombies, the most overused thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so true, man. So true. Uh, all right, so the last part of our rating scale, as always, is going to be the replayability. Will we play this game again? Are we interested in getting maybe all the trophies, getting a platinum? Do we want to make all the friends, play all the different classes, whatever it may be? Mm. What do you think, Joe? Uh, for me, it's almost like I would. The, the gameplay is flawed enough that I'm not like that excited to get back into the game. Uh, okay. I would certainly like to replay those. Um, those cutscenes again, but I can do that on YouTube. So my replayability, I do want to play the sequel. If that can count under replayability, I would give <laughs> replayability uh, maybe a seven out of ten. Fractured but whole. Yeah, yeah, I want to. I want to play fractured but whole because of this game. Yeah, I, I want to know sweet. like what. You're gonna get the nozzleless rift. What things say, are gonna should, get uh, improved on the next? I was gonna game. say we should pull together and get it with the nozzleless rift. <laughs> <laughs> That would be uh, an be, experience. It would be God. so immersive. Oh. <laughs> an extra level of immersion. I already oh, feel wow. dirty grabbing the fucking shit and I get out of the toilet. So being able to oh, smell wow. it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you, Craig? How uh, likely are you to replay this and why? Well, since this is the second time I've played it, uh, the replayability for me is okay. Um, <laughs> well, you were forced to this time. Well, I was forced to this time, but I, forced, I was yeah. by the Ultima. How you play the game by the Ultima Final Fantasy community? <laughs> it had been to his head. It had been long enough that I was planning on replaying it again before um, uh, Fractured But Whole came out. Because if you pre-order Fractured But Whole, it comes with a copy of Stick of Truth, and yes. so before I played it, I was going to replay Stick of Truth because, like, in the timeline of those two games. Um, fractured but whole is like the next day. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, did you pre-order it? I haven't pre-ordered it now. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, that's the reason I was gonna play it again. Um, I do see myself playing it again sometime in the future, just because I enjoy it. Um, you know, for the I would probably try playing the Jew class. I I never really thought about it. Uh, I just played the warrior twice because uh, it was really easy. I did a shitload of damage. Yeah, the game's not hard. Yeah, so I uh, yeah I'll probably play it again. Uh, the Jew class is like your average like. Just your control wizard is a great way to explain that because you're just you're throwing out magic ability damage and putting up doing a lot of status effects. Trying yeah. to get that bounce sound going <laughs> on the mic. Too. I never really used the powers. I pretty much just stuck to my weapons. Oh, with the two class, that's like your main go to. Yeah. Yeah, the powers it dude. <laughs> they do a lot. Like you get the uh the sling of David. And you can power it up to where it like bounces off of enemies, and then it gets fucking sick. Well, I had uh, my ranged weapon for that, so yeah. I never really. Does the dialogue change powers? because you're you're a Jew? Uh, no, there's a few spots where they make fun of you. Yeah, like, and then and then your class updates. Are but just Carmen's awesome. not like, going crazy. On no, her. Carmen's like, yeah, you sure you can pick that? We're gonna, we can't be friends. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we'll never really be friends. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, what would you give it out of ten then, Craig? For replayability, I'd probably give it like a six. Oh, wow. wow. You said a way more positive than Joe. <laughs> well, I mean, I played it twice now, but, you know, so it's still it's still kind of like only if a one kind of playthrough type thing. It's my rule with, with rating time. replayability is if I'm definitely going to replay it, give it a ten. Um, and then it scales down from there. So, But that's just me. Caleb can rate how he wants. Yeah, well, for me, it's mostly like... I got a 70% chance I'll replay this again. <laughs> it's it's more like a time thing for me. If, like, if it's been a while and I kind of feel like playing it, I'll probably play it again. All right. So, that's yeah. what if you got it? What if you pre-ordered Fractured But Whole? 
would hold because uh, you'd I get would, it on PS4 and you get new. He trophies. was saying that he would have replayed. Yeah, it I anyway would have played. It. I would have replayed it anyway. I was planning to. Oh, so since you're, I played it this time, but okay, okay. that well, covers it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. But when you pre-order that, you get a free copy of this one for PS4, and yeah. the trophy list is separate. So yes, the likelihood so of replayability would you could be double down going on the trophies. a little higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could. Well, I never played it on PS3. I played it on my Steam. Oh, twice. did you both times? Okay. Yeah, both okay. times I played it on Steam. So I would give replayability an 8 out of 10. Because I definitely, if I have the time for it and I want to get an easy trophy, I don't know how easy it is, but uh, I would play this game because I had fun. You can uh, one-shot it with Platinum. One of the dudes at my work did, so you can do it if you just look it up, if you care. What about you, Schweiss? Um, I'll... I'll give it an eight as well. It's not something that I'm like dying to do. Um, but I did what I did is I sat down and I looked at the trophy list and I said, okay, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of platinums this year, doing a lot of thinking on these platinums. And <laughs> do I want to enjoy this game yes. or do I want to dominate this game? <laughs> and I ended up going with enjoy because well, first off, one of the trophies is to not have your partner die the entire game, which is sick. You can't oh, end a battle wow. with Butters dead, or you don't get this thing. Yeah, Fucked I, would, up, I right? wouldn't fight Al Gore if you were going for that. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I can't fight him anyway. Uh, so I decided, no, I'll put it down. But I said that with the intent of, I can always get that later. So even early on, when I did finish the fight with Butters being dead, and I said, fuck it, I'll get it next time I play through, I knew I was probably going to play through this game again. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10 total. So, All right. So uh, before we give our final thoughts on the game, uh, we do have some listener thoughts on the game uh, from the forums. Um, Stolas says, I loved it by far one of my favorite games. Uh, there were so many times I had to stop playing because of how hard I was laughing. The combat was a little repetitive at times. Uh, I think my favorite part was the Mr. Slave dungeon. Also, the portrayal <laughs> of Canada killed me. Uh, totally agree with you there, uh, Stolas. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Shinru says I was having a blast with it, but it started dragging and I got about halfway and then never finished it. I thought all of the jokes and stuff were hilarious. I wish the battle system was better like FF turn based stuff, but it was great from what I remember playing. And then last but not least, Felicia Nomiko says my husband and I tag team this game a year or two ago and we loved it. Canada also killed me. I think I laughed for an hour over that. And to this day I say, you know what a dire whatever is. It's like a whatever, but dire. Uh, I actually enjoyed the combat. It was really amusing. It was a well-made game that had uh, all the little touches you want from South Park. We had a blast playing it. I will echo that statement. I think if you are a South Park fan, you should check out this game. Mm -hmm. And if you're not a South Park fan and you've never watched South Park, or even if you have, you should, you know, watch the Warcraft episode, watch the Scott uh, Scott Tennerman Must Die well, episode. Before you play this game specifically. And then play this game. Before you play this game specifically. Because you will specific, be a fan at that point. Yeah, watch watch the uh, <laughs> Return of the two, Lord of the Rings to the Two Towers uh, episode. Yeah, yeah, you'll find that it. That one, yeah, it's the Lord of the Rings episode. And then watch the Black Friday trilogy. Oh, these um, are video games. Those ones, I say watch the Warcraft one. Yeah, Make love, but the Warcraft. Black Friday trilogy kind of leads into this. So, whoa, yeah. whoa, the Game of Thrones one? Yeah. Oh yeah, watch that. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's watch that. One. Watch all five. It's the greatest thing ever made. Episode. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, what is it? Fantastic. The Garden of uh... Garden of Betrayal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start bringing people in here to talk some betrayal. Final thoughts on the game, Craig? Um, I really enjoyed the game. It's fucking hilarious. The story is amazing. Um. The gameplay does need a little bit of work, but it's uh, pretty entertaining when you can do certain things like uh, smack everybody with like a basketball that's on fire. Um, and just like some of the things in the game where you can like recruit Jesus, Mr. Hanky, Mr. Slave, um, the what's the city walk owner guy? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, for, yeah. Yeah. For like, um, summons that's pretty sweet uh going to the top of the like mongolian tower the tower of peace tower. or whatever <laughs> and then fighting the mongolian horde was pretty sweet yeah. <laughs> um stuff like that like uh, it's really entertaining and i think everybody should play this game cameron um i'll have to uh, 
agree with Cable on most of those points. It was a very entertaining game, very funny. Um, turn based to me felt slow. It just, you know, it was slow. It was in this game particularly slow. I will tell you that. Well, it's uh, as slow as, as you make as it. As someone who plays a lot of turn based I mean, games. Um, no, I, some of the moves. Actually, are this long, is not as slow enemies, as you make it. Never mind. The enemies turn pretty long. It got to the point long. where yeah. I wish that the butters animation would just stop. Just do the chaos attack, please. And yeah, I do wish that you could skip some stuff. But. Most Final <laughs> Fantasies let you shorten the summon animations too. So I also didn't use the summons like hardly at all in this game. I used two summons. Oh, they're like precious. You had to like save them, but you couldn't yeah. use them on bosses. Yeah. So. You can't use it. I, I used the uh, Mongolian one because I thought it was or funny. the special like super. I used the Jesus one, use but them. as soon as I, I as soon as I was inside Mister Slave, I'm like, you know, it'd be funny if I used Mister Slave inside Mister Slave. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got the thing. inside joke, bastard. <laughs> inside joke. Oh my god, it's a triple pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the trophy. There you go. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a uh, triple gameplay. pun. Is the name of it? <laughs> no, inside all joke. Right, is- all right, all right. Your inside, Mr. S- anyway. Caleb Schweiss, your final thoughts on the game and our final score for New Clan. Well, guys, if you like uh, Final Fantasy and you like turn-based and you like disgusting things, this is the game for you. You <laughs> will enjoy it. It is clunky at times, it's true, and I can't really echo what you guys said because I zone out when you're talking, so that's Fuck one you. thing I would uh, recommend, Cameron, whenever Caleb starts going, just like... <laughs> that's what that's uh, that's what has to go on in your mind, just nothing, and then you don't have to worry about copying them. Uh, anyway, I uh, I feel like this is something that you guys should try out. It's definitely worth it, especially with a new game coming out. Um, if you like South Park, if you like RPGs, hit this one up. It's a lot of fun, um, and it's not it's not a super big time commitment either. It's uh, it only took me like nine hours, and I did a bunch of extra stuff. I did like yeah. a ton. I was done at 11 hours and I had done pretty much everything in the game other than gathering like all the friends and equipment. Yeah, so. very short. Uh, oh, I worth. on Thursday night I played from around I think 6:30ish till 1 in the morning and then You on, stayed here till 1? Yeah. God. And then on um and then yesterday I beat it at uh, 1 in the morning. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. One o'clock is a good time to play a uh, stick of truth. So now with that being said, the official nude clan rank or rating for South Park, the stick of truth is 88 out of 100. Oh, Joe cool. gave it a 41. Craig gave it a 44 and Cameron and I both gave it 45s. So all right. I think it's a solid game. Me too. Solid game. All right. Well, we don't do getting fat on review days. So is that going to be everything? I think unless we need to do a nominee. Do we need to nominate? Uh, do we? Uh, what's, nominee. Do we need a nominee? Oh. nominee? Go on the Google Drive. It should <laughs> be under nominee. Nude Clan documents. I don't know if you oh. saw that I re, uh, reorganized the Google Drive. Because oh. I was sick of the wall. Oh, of, you're uh, tired of your did shit you, did being you everywhere? Did you what the work did? you yeah. know the work I did? We don't happen to have any... Uh, uh, it's a nude clan. Any questions or reviews, do we? Uh, we do not have a review. I don't even look anymore. <laughs> God damn it, people. <laughs> you know what would make our day? Give a us review. a goddamn review. Give us a goddamn review. If you want whatever movie is next, yeah, I would suggest a review. Mortal Kombat. So what's... what's oh, shit. So uh, Seven weeks away. Let's see. Quad game based on the movies this week. And then we have Cameron and Joe, the wonderful... Uh, mm. The, uh, what the <coughs> fuck is that? Armored Core for Answers? Yeah. Armored Core for, yeah. Armored Core for Answer, this, this game. So um, the bizarre sequel to Armored Core 4. Yes. Which is <laughs> fucking... All right. Come on! I didn't even know. I thought the game was just called Armored Core for Answer and it was his own thing, but I was wrong. Um, but after that, Joe, <laughs> it's you and I. We got a movie um, review and then we got Caleb and Joe. One, two, three, four, six. Oh, you're right. Oh, my God. Oh, well, uh, let's take five minutes, figure out what we're going to nominate, <laughs> and we'll come nominee, right back. Nominee, nominee. Sounds good. All right, so we're back. Uh, our nominees, Caleb. Yes. I have nominated... No, nah, God. Nominated. <laughs> I've nominated <laughs> Parasite I've nominated Eve. Eve. Parasite Eve. And Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja <laughs> Pro-Am. Hells yeah. Please don't vote for that. 
What what in the world is wrong with you? He wants to play Parasite Eve, <laughs> oh, okay, and that's right. why he picked. Zombie I feel Ninja like Pro these Am. these are ridiculous. If we go, don't vote for this one, and even though we deal. totally did it for Armored Core. No, uh, you can if you want. We needed it. the The format. Is, I did not expect Armored Core to win. The format <laughs> is one big game and then one kind of obscure ish game, and that's why I went with Aqua Teen because I bought it. And a really funny story. I bought it because it was cheap at this gas station, right? And I was like, man, that's a pretty good price. And then I pull out of the gas station and I get in my first car accident ever. I was like, wow, I'm glad I saved money on the fucking game because I'm ruined. Yeah. So All right, I so beat it and then destroy it. So my games are Half-Life. Ooh, cult classic. Uh, from 1990, late 90s. And by I don't cult remember. classic, I mean not. I just mean classic and massive. Yeah. Nice. And then the other game, which I thought was an obscure game, but apparently a lot of people played it. Empire Total War. <laughs> yeah, that's so a good game. those are my nominees, guys. In order to vote, you just got to go to this episode, which will be South Park Stick of Truth on nudeclan.net. And uh, there shall be a poll there. And thou shalt vote. Yes. Thou shalt uh, vote on thine game. Listening. Vote with your heart. <laughs> Vote on the line. Uh, Mitochondria 2016. And uh, next week we'll we'll decide the winner for that poll. Uh, other places that you can find the show, by the way, facebook.com slash nude clan podcast is nude spelled N E W D. You can also go to twitch.tv slash nude clan gaming. So you just play the games live every once in a while. And, um, Oh, uh, what's what else we got? You can tweet me at Joseph Gillier, me at Obsidian Bob, me at Nude Clan Cam, me at UFF Podcast, and for everything else, just go to nudeclan.net. <laughs> you can support the show through Am- the Amazon link there, uh, and uh, or the PayPal link. And we're we're working on a Patreon. We we haven't decided what we're doing yet, though. Yeah, we, we'll have a discussion after this, probably. I think uh, we got time. Yeah, maybe. Okay, some I, of us have time. <laughs> uh, you can also check out our other shows, the Godzilla podcast, Ultima Final Fantasy, if you like Final Fantasy, and then Super better. Sexy Swing and Fan Fiction, which had a shout-out, by the way, from Limit Break Radio. Yeah, I saw that. I think I guess they did a Super Sexy on their show, is what somebody was They saying. did. Someone sent in a fan fiction of them, and oh, then nice. Anero was like, we should probably point out that another show does uh, something similar. Nice. And he uh, he mentioned Super Sexy. Oh, cool. So Awesome. Yeah. Uh, did we already do our tweets? Yes. Twitters? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then you know where to find us. <laughs> okay. And um, I think we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the nude. May the list go on. Live always in the nude. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah!